For just the second time in the past 12 years, Alabama will open the season at home. Last year, Alabama opened up against Utah State here in Bryant-Denny Stadium. This season, the Tide hosts Middle Tennessee. Alabama leads the all-time series 3-0 with the last win coming back in 2015, a 37-10 victory in Bryant-Denny Stadium. That year, the Tide went on to defeat Clemson for the Tide's 16th national championship in program history. Rick Stockstill, a quarterback under Bobby Bowden at Florida State, leads the Blue Raiders program. Stockstill enters his 18th year as he's been the head coach at Middle Tennessee since 2006. Last season, Middle Tennessee had one of the best seasons in program history. The Blue Raiders finished 8-5 with the program's first ever top 25 win, a 45-31 victory over the 25th ranked Miami Hurricanes in Miami. Middle Tennessee finished the season off with a 25-23 win over San Diego State in the Hawaii Bowl. Rick Stockstill has been there for a long time. He's done a really good job. they got a great offensive scheme in terms of how they do things and problems that they create. Uh, so it's going to be challenging from our players from that standpoint. Middle Tennessee likes to throw the ball a lot as they run an air raid style of offense led by quarterback Nick Badiato. Badiato was voted to the Conference USA All-Freshman team and was named the Bahamas Bowl Offensive MVP in 2021. He played in two games last season, getting the start and the win over Charlotte. The top three receivers from last season are gone, with DJ England Chisholm being Barriado's top returning target. He's a deep threat receiver who finished with 366 yards and four touchdowns, averaging over 15 yards per reception. On the ground, the Blue Raiders returned their leading rusher from last season, Frank Pizant. Pizant finished with 774 rushing yards with nine touchdowns, while also adding 28 receptions for 286 yards and a pair of scores. On defense, the Blue Raiders lost a couple of their big stars from last season, but returned their leading tackler in safety, Trey Fluellen. They play really well. They get a lot of turnovers, um, but they create a lot of pressure. Um, they're a pressure defense, and they put a lot of pressure on their secondary and their corners have played very well, whether they play off or man-to-man -man in press. Uh, their safeties are very aggressive and make a lot of plays. Despite allowing almost 28 points per game and 409 yards per game to opponents last season, Middle Tennessee finished second in the nation in turnovers gained with 30, while also finishing second in the nation in interceptions with 20. For the Tide, it's less about the opponent and more about themselves, trying to figure out what this team is going to be. This is a, a, a challenging team for us to play, but again, you know, we're concerned about how do we establish an identity for our team in terms of how we compete and how we play, regardless of, you know, who we might play. As far as who will get the start at quarterback for the Crimson Tide? Regardless of what happens in this game, it's the same thing that I told you guys before. Just because whoever starts in the first game, that doesn't mean that you don't have to continue to compete and play throughout the season because the competition doesn't end with the first game at any position. The weather should be great to kick off the season in Bryant-Denny on Saturday. The high is forecasted to be 83 degrees on Saturday with a less than 20% chance of rain. Kickoff is scheduled for 6.30 on the SEC Network. Reporting from the Crimson Tide Production Studio inside Bryant-Denny Stadium, I'm Christopher England with Tide TV.